the things going on. Um, but I wanted to keep it real, you know? Um, we got a house and it's really, really crazy. And I only told a few people the actual story, including Nate. Um, it was the first house we walked into, first house. And on the pictures before, knowing we wanted to go see it, I didn't get any kind of feeling at all. I, I liked it, obviously we wanted to go see it. Um, but it, the pictures didn't do anything for me of what like happened. So unfortunately, this was yesterday technically, but we just found out it is, it is ours. But um, I didn't get any video or pictures because it's a very unique situation too. And I wanted to be extremely respectful being that I just went through this process and I told you guys even over the last few weeks that like having someone in your house is so like I wasn't prepared for it I knew that's what's happening and on the other hand like I said before like you want as many people as possible in there because you want as many offers or people that you know are interested you get it and the weird part with this situation is the owner was also the realtor I was like, oh, that doesn't make it complicated, but yeah. And she was there and it's hers. And I'm like, oh gosh, okay. I do not want to touch anything. I just want to be completely respectful. I understand it's stressful. It's weird having someone in your home. I get it. I totally get it completely. And so I didn't get any pictures. And now the listing's already pulled and there's no pictures. I'm like, okay, great. but. I have one, I have one I saved and we'll, we'll get more. But anyway, uh, I walked into this house and there's like a front room kind of thing that you can kind of go two ways even to get to like in the middle and the back of the kitchen and the other like living quarters, right? Sorry. <laughs> and I walk through on the left side and this is all important because it's, it's, I will never forget it. But I walked in on the left side curves around into the kitchen and I walked into the kitchen and then it comes to like the sliding glass door to the backyard and right when I hit the sliding glass door my whole body just got chills chills and I stop because it was the weirdest thing we got our realtor we got theirs the owner and and um I think her mom was even there and then Nate's with me and I just stop and I turn around and I just got this overwhelming feeling of Monty. And Monty was Nate's dad who passed a few years back. And if you guys have been following a while, you remember going through that with us and I just felt it. And Nate didn't even get this, I got it. And I just stopped and I look and I turn around and then I see kind of the downstairs uh, for what it is from that angle. And I went, oh my gosh, it's almost identical to his home. And I just felt it. And I turn around, I'm literally goosebumps. And I look in the backyard and I'm like, it's, it's the one, it's the one. It just is, I don't care, it just is. And we go out there, love the backyard. The backyard's awesome. And I'm kind of just like, at that point, I'm like, no, it doesn't even matter. Like, it, I just knew. And we walk in, then we go to the upstairs and I literally, there's paint colors and stuff that I would never pick. They're not bad, I just wouldn't pick them. It, it doesn't scream me in that way. And I'm like, it, I didn't even see it. Like, I kind of just went like blank. The whole upstairs is like identical to their home too. I'm just like, oh my goodness. And I just, I we left the house and went to another one and I could care less. And I was just so checked out. And I told Nate on the way, I'm like, you didn't get anything at all from that at all. And uh, he's like, well, not really. And then I told him and he's like, well, no, it is alike, isn't it? And I'm like, you didn't get that? <laughs> Something happened. 
and he's like did you see this part i'm like no did you see this no i didn't see it i didn't see it i didn't even walk into every room i didn't and i i just knew i just knew and so i entertained the next one and we went to one more and that was it and i was like yeah, okay whatever i was like it's the one it is the one it went on the market yesterday morning when we went it was the one and i told him make, make it happen make it happen i hate to lose <laughs> and we all know it's all crazy right now in this market it's insane to to you know get your first house you look at and you're you're competing with a lot and i was like make it happen make it happen and so we put an offer together last night that was pretty unbeatable i'd like to think and it was accepted and the cool part is is like she I, so kind of going back a little bit i wanted to make i wish nate was here to to be telling you this with me but he's at work i'm in the hotel but um now i get to enjoy the weekend but now i can go back a little bit and when the the owner you know was there and stuff i just felt so compelled to make her feel comfortable because again i didn't have that feeling <laughs> when it was when we were going through it and stuff and so you know technically in the scheme of like how this all usually works is normally you never see the owner that's how it's supposed to be but because of it being a unique situation of her being the one listing it too uh and her being there you know you don't you don't normally talk and i was like you know what i'm gonna break every rule i don't care i just like i said it felt some type of way and i just wanted her to feel comfortable and we started chatting it up and they're moving to california we're moving from california to here um got brought up about our pig before that's right i went there i went there <laughs> told her about that because they have these really cool like garden beds in the um in the backyard too and i was like you know i had that in ours and i thought it would be like this you know great idea of you know we're gonna have you know fresh veggies for ourselves and it just went to my pig and she's like your pig i'm like yes and and uh she had dogs there which i had my animals too and it's so stressful of like you know making that work when they're not supposed to be in the home when you're showing a home all the things and i was like let me go play with them let me go play with your dogs like I broke every rule of like, <laughs> you don't do all that. And I was like, let's do it. <laughs> and apparently she loved us and remembered us and it is done. And it's really, really cool. I'm just like, I'm talking to tons of people and stuff, but that's, that's the story. I will never forget it. It's, we love the house. Um, I think, no, I mean, <laughs> what I mean is like, again, there's some, I didn't even really check out. I didn't care. I'm telling you, I've never been someone that, you know, goes off of that kind of impulse, <laughs> especially with something, you know, expensive, <laughs> but something happened and it was just, game over like this is this is it and it'll now be a very very special place too you know uh so that's really cool it's weird it's so weird but yeah so uh again nate is is at work today but he's off this weekend so originally i was planning to come actually today and um ended up going a little early because the new plan of attack was Let's see if something posts, this is the crazy market right now. Let's see if something posts on Thursday. So I got here Wednesday midday to be ready for Thursday. Again, this was yesterday. And uh, see if something posts on Thursday morning. Try to get into that house hoping you like it. So not only do you have to have both of those things going for you to even have this maybe work and be aggressive with an offer so that they will pull it before the weekend even gets here. And that's what we did and it worked. And it's crazy. I mean, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I would love to have shared more homes with you and doing all the things, but it just literally was not that. It did not turn into that at all. I'm planning to be here the whole weekend because we were planning to be house hunting all weekend. And it 
just not gonna be that now. It, it, I will never forget that at all. That was insane. And uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna just enjoy the weekend now when Nate's off, cause he is off tomorrow and the next day being, you know, we're preparing for this. And yeah, I'll go home next week and keep packing and there it is. So I think, technically technically we could be here even like i told you guys the end of june is kind of the bottom line of being in our other home and um i think we could technically even be in this one sooner it's gonna be very fast but the, here's the issue too <laughs> is the movers for all of our stuff the earliest that they were available to do it back when we like started this was the end of June. So we, I might just wait till then anyway, cause I won't really have things, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe they'll have a cancellation or something too and could bump it up, but that's, it's nuts, it's nuts. So I wanted to share that with you guys and now we'll just be able to share a fun weekend and it'll be cool, it'll be cool. So this is my raw moment. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I do think there is a little gym here at this hotel and I might go scope that out, get out some of this angst and call it good for the weekend, but we're excited. I will definitely share, of course, like pictures and stuff as I can, but I don't have them right now. Um, I think we are gonna go to the house one more time though before I do leave, I think. And if I do, I'll try to, show some of it then but yeah it's really cool so i thought i'd share that with you guys thank you for keeping us in your positive thoughts and prayers it worked and there was a lot going on yesterday and yeah it's cool i won't forget it <laughs>